Hello, welcome to Morgan's with Neros. Now, um, I just hope that the um, sound is okay now. Um, it's been a little while since I did this. So, I just hope that the sound works out good here. Um, and also, I will have to, um, I will have to ask you that if you if you um, join and you want to chat and so on, just say hi in the chat because I can't see who is in still. I haven't set up all the stuff. I'm trying it out here on my phone just to <laughs> see if it works. Uh, it seems like it is working because I get... Yeah. Okay, so let's just turn off the sound there and, and get the chat open here so I can see you within and so on. Okay, so first of all, before I uh, before I move the camera down, I just want to say that this is spoilerish. Uh, of course, there's going to be um, huge spoilers. I'm going to play scenario 39 called Treasures Divide. This is sort of halfway for me into the campaign. So this is just deep, you know, I'm just diving into the uh, deep end here just to show you what I've been doing lately because I've been playing so much uh, Gloomhaven that I haven't really done anything else on the channel. Uh, so I thought, well, you know what, uh, let's do a little live stream at least. Perhaps uh, some of you already played this so you don't care about the spoilers or perhaps you don't care anyway because there's like a hundred scenarios uh, anyway. So, so uh, yeah, we're sort of midway through. Uh, if you watched uh, the last time I say uh, I live streamed Gloomhaven, then uh, you are going to do, there's a lot of changes. So I'm going to get the camera down here now. So just be ready. Um, so there's a lot of things happening since the last time. First of all, I am playing three characters. Uh, I, I think that's more fun. And as you can see here, I'm playing the Sunkeeper. Um, not that cool, in my opinion. I don't really like her. I'm trying to get her to retri retire. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm playing the Berserker, which is, I think, my favorite character so far in the game. She's just awesome. She kills everything. Uh, but she is ready to retire. She's level 9. She has all the perks. She has everything set, really. But uh, and the only thing she needs to do is do one more sort of side quest. And I'm holding off on that because I want to keep her a little longer. And over here I have another favorite, which is the Suit Singer. She's awesome. She's just incredible support character. She can just curse them. You know, she can put ten curses in the deck of the enemy. She can bless the others. She can have. She she plays her songs right, so she can heal the others. She can make the enemies get disadvantage. She can curse them by singing. It's she's just incredible. She's level nine as well. There, uh, my Sunkeeper is the small one, so she's level six. And I'm playing on level 4, uh, I am playing on easy sort of, uh, because I'm playing solo I'm supposed to play on level 5, but um, I tried it a bit, um, I don't like to do like a scenario over and over and just try to make it, I like to make it but not, of course not too easy, that wouldn't be fun either, but uh, yeah, so, so therefore I am playing on, on level 4. So we're going to go in here, um, the whole map is not set up yet, the reason for that is uh, let me show you here. I am using, which I think this is so awesome. This should have come with the game basically. I am using over here, let me show you if I can. I'm using uh, my iPad and I'm using the uh, Gloomhaven Scenario Viewer app. So that means that I don't see what's in the la last room. I have to sort of, I have to like click it like that to see what's in there. Um, I don't see the conclusion. On the first page here I have the story and everything, but I don't have what happens when I hit open that door number one. So I get to experience stuff as I go and I think this is how the game should be played. This is so awesome. Uh, I really don't like it the way it's sort of standard version where you just, yeah, let's just know everything from the start. I mean, you can try to not read everything or not see where every monster is, but it's really hard. You tend to just look there anyway. Also, before we go, I just want to show you another thing that I really like. I've got these uh, sort of, um, these are for um, business cards folders. And so I have all the monsters in here. So I have the monsters in 
uh, order and it's very easy to just pull out the monsters I need or put in, yeah and just have this as I have two of these for all the monsters and I'm going to get another one to have all the items in for the shop as well so it's really handy uh, besides all, all the other stuff I'm using a folder for the map tiles I'm using the, the plastic things here for all the tokens so I have pretty much everything set up here I can just sit here and play and set up new scenarios and so on so anyway that's uh, five minutes in let's just start playing and I will try to now it's going to be a bit fiddly with the camera because I have three characters, a lot of things are going to happen. But I'll just hope that you can follow uh, along as, uh, somehow at least. So as I said, a lot of spoilers. I'm going to go straight into the introduction here where we climb into the frozen peaks of the Copperneck Mountains, laminating that every location Hale has sent you, Hale has sent us out to do this, uh, is the most unforgiving in hospital place possible. As you near the base of the mountain, you seek one of the tallest in the range you look up at the larger of the two peaks. The massive spire is hopelessly daunting. There is no way to scale it directly. Luckily, the mountain's secondary peak has a much more gradual incline. You begin your ascent, hoping that it will be easier to cross over to the main peak once you get higher. As you near the secondary summit, after trekking around the mountain and through the snow, you catch a glimpse of a narrow bridge joining the two peaks. It looks treacherous with a sheer drop to an icy depth on either side, Still, it's better than nothing. Unfortunately, you find yourself not alone as you move to the bridge. Figures in dark cloaks and demons made of ice wait for you across the divide. A voice booms out over the howling wind. You are not welcome here, mortals. All that awaits you is the embrace of death. You ready your weapons. You can hardly see through the blizzard, but you're determined to make sure death embraces someone else. So here we go. That's the start of the mission, and we're supposed to... Uh, go in here and do something in that final room that we haven't revealed yet. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we started out here. Um, these aren't painted yet, of course, because I haven't gotten around to it. I'm just playing all the time. So uh, yeah, we have some bears here, some K bears, some spinning drakes, and those are a bit special because I want to get my suit singer to kill those because she has a mission for that. Uh, we have some fr uh, frost demons and some cultists in the back and because they are here we have living bones ready as well Draco has them over there uh, ready to be put out but also another thing that you might notice I have uh, dice out here for the health so I'm using dice I'm using white for the normal and yellow for the elites of course and these for special events um, so I am using dice for basically everything here so like the cave bear elite here has 21 health I just do it like that and I really like this because when I have a lot of stuff going on, it's too fiddly for me, it's a lot in my mind, I'm planning and so on. I can just see right away, okay, they saw the spitting rakes, they're all normal, uh, the elite frost demon and so on, yeah. So let's get going and let's start the first round. In this scenario, there's a special thing where we're in the ice, in the blizzard, so the ice is all, frost magic is always strong and fire magic is always weak at the start of every round. So, uh... I'm going to choose cards first of all for my suit singer and uh, what I usually do with her is that I start with putting out melody and harmony so she can have two songs active at once and then I think for the bottom action uh, this one's kind of this one's really nice you can curse and bless with the same action but they're too far away so uh, and I have some boosts here as well like this one's range four I enchant to that. One, two, three, four. She could actually do that and wound. Yeah, let's do that and wound the big bear over there. Okay, so that's her. She's going with seven, eight. What I do is I just put these. I put the one on top. That's the initiative. And she has a lot of special actions and cool items and all that stuff. But we'll get into it as we go. My uh, berserker, which is basically near us because and this is like Artania because I'm. I, mean, I just call them like Niramas the second and Draco the second over there and so on because they have been retired and ex uh, exchanged for these guys. She's really awesome, she can do a lot of damage. Um, I think I will move, yeah, I will move up. This is nice move and then just wound everything next to her. And I like to get them wounded, especially the bears and stuff like that because, I mean, at this level everyone has so much health, so... So I guess she'll move up there and then I would like her to attack all adjacent enemies. This one is awesome as well because it's an attack of three to all adjacent. It muddles them, them 
and also it, it, she can perform a heal too for every enemy each enemy damage if she's hurt which she is a lot of the time because she's sort of spending health to do stuff then that's perfect then I'll go by a 10 so she goes quick and finally we have the boring Sunkeeper I think I think she's kind of boring she's just like yeah move attack heal that's all she can do she doesn't have well she has one of these pretty cool things here where an adjacent ally may recover a lost card that's pretty good I used that together with the Berserker um well I think she will just what I usually do with her to start off is uh, where is it? Uh, this one. She can move five. Every every ally that she moves through gets blessed. So that's a good start. I guess she, I guess she will do that. And she has boots. She has the good boots. So she can move three extra if need be. Uh, maybe she can move uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then she could end up next to the bear, which means she could do a let's see a pretty strong attack here. Uh, yeah, attack of five, that's good. Alright, so she's ready. And so we are ready to see what the enemies will do. So, uh, the cave bears, there's a lot of guys out here. They will be really fast, move on three. Oh, they will do retaliate, that sucks. Yeah, I'm placing the, yeah, um, I got a question here about the, the stickers on the, yeah, I'm placing them on the sleeves. Not that it really matters, I don't think I will sell this game anyway, because I love it so much and I will play it probably in the future as well a second time or something but I'm placing them on the sleeves just to be sure and I by the way I can rec really recommend these ultimate guard uh, what it was it like uh, they're not sh what's it called in English they're not like shiny <laughs> they are yeah matte or something I think well it's called matte in Swedish I think it's called the same in English it's like it doesn't reflect the, yeah matte so uh, really awesome ones really perfect fit as well really good feeling about them so I just leave everything and um, yeah, I put the stickers on there. Okay, so um, cave bears will be really fast and they get retaliate, which sucks because I'm planning to hit them a lot. Uh, Frost Demon is late as usual, I guess. Cultist, pretty fast. Okay, well, here we go. And so first out is the cave bears at three. So they will shield, which also sucks. They shield, they retaliate, and they heal, but they don't need to heal right now. Um yeah, and then we go to me, and we have the Berserker at 10. So she will do her thing, and she can do a lot of stuff, as you will see now. She will do a move 3, and she will wound everyone that she ends up next to. So she will go over there, pull out the wounds, put them over at the bears, like that. Uh, then she will do an attack of three to each adjacent enemy, which also will muddle them. So I'll just pull out the muddles right away. It's nice to just have them handy over here. All these tokens. They're both muddled. And uh, yeah, let's see what she does. So we have an attack of three. They have a shield of one that they will retaliate, which kind of sucks, but okay. So three, oh, there's a curse. We, we start the scenario with curses, which sucks. Uh, okay, so that was the normal one let's say it and then she goes for the elite with three uh plus one so that's four he has a shield though so that's down to three and he'll go down to 18. there we have it so remove that die really easy system now he has 18 health um and yeah she does yeah she does need to heal as well because she inflicted damage to one guy, she gets to heal two. The reason she's not at full health is because I had a road event. Uh, fought some wolves or whatever it was, and they all started with minus three health. Okay, but they're at least, at least they're muddled, both of them, and they're both wounded. So I guess that's a pretty good uh, result for one round, one turn. Uh, but now I will actually do one more thing, which is a bit uh, cool here. I have the Ring of Haste. This is an awesome item. Uh, and when I use it, at the end of my round, I can play another card and immediately perform the bottom action. Uh, and I won't even use this, I will use the Empowering Talisman. So basically I'm using this, but I'm picking it up right away with the Talisman. So it's the Talisman that is lost and I have the Haste Ring for another, for, not, for two, two uh, uses this uh, match. And she will do this bottom action, which is move two, attack three, because it's boosted. Or enchanted or whatever it's called and haunt enhanced maybe it's called 
Um, so she'll attack for three again. So she attacked the small bear. By the way, they retaliated. I almost forgot. She should have lost four health. It's so easy to forget stuff, especially when I'm talking. And now I'm not used to talking. I'm used to just being in my own world. Okay, so a uh, new attack. Ugh, stupid to do two attacks when they have retaliate. But it doesn't matter. She can heal up really easy. Okay, so three on the normal bear. And that's times two. So that's six. He does have a shield, so that's five. He goes down to 11. She takes two damage. Because... Um, he retaliates and then uh, attack of three on the elite bear and that's plus one so that's four minus one because he has shield so that's um, what did I say three yes three in total he goes down to 15 and she takes two damage like that okay so that was pretty good three cards played in one turn that's pretty cool I really like the ring of haste the suit singer has one as well uh, okay that was her turn, then she acted on number 10, then we have da -da -da -da. we have Cultist 27, so Cultist will move, they move 3, and they will of course not attack anything right now, but they will move 3, get closer to me, 1, 2, 3. Um, this, i never seen this in a scenario before, but we have some trenches or stuff here. Uh, I guess it's supposed to sort of simulate, I don't know, the bridge or something, because it's kind of tricky to move here. Okay, so that was the cultist. Then we go to the uh, Sunkeeper, actually. She's no, uh, number two to act. Um, she will do a move of five. Uh, yeah, she will. Doesn't matter which one she uses, really. No, 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 no. She will do a move of five with Bless, of course. That was the thing she was supposed to do. And she gets some experience, actually, because she's not at level nine yet. So, move of five. Uh, okay, now the Berserker is up there. That's why I'm not playing on plus one for the solo, because even I'm, if I'm playing solo, it's so much to keep, keep track of that, I mean, it's almost like playing with multiple people, because I forget what I was planning to do all the time, and I end up doing stuff in the wrong order, so that's why I think it's fair to play, uh, to not have increasing difficulty because I'm solo. I mean, the idea behind it is, it's good, that you when you play solo, you can plan everything perfectly, but I can't do that, at least when I'm, not when I'm playing like 10 hours straight and get really tired. Anyway, she will use her uh, Boots of bash, uh, Dashing, really good. She can move plus 3 using those. That means she can move 8, so she'll move like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Yeah, she can move over here for 8. And she moved through the other two, so they are blessed. So I have those cards over here, I'll just put the bless here. And the bless there, and I have to reshuffle them. And those, those should be shuffled in right away. Uh, and then she'll do an attack of five on the elite bear for five plus one, so that's six. He has an armor, so that's five. He's down to ten. And he will retaliate for two, of course. Like that. Uh, so that was her action. I will start shuffling these decks that just got blessed. And let's see, okay, so she's done. Then we have Spitting Drake, I think, 57. And I have to rem try to remember, I have to try to remember that my um, Suit Singer is supposed to finish off the Spitting Drake because she needs to kill two more for her uh, life goal. And I'm not in a hurry to retire her because I really like her, but then, anyway, I want to get it almost done and then just be able to decide. Okay, so we have Spitting Drakes. They will move at, what is it? They will move at four. Oh, they will actually attack me. Okay, so number three, four, if they are flying, one, two, three, four, I guess. She doesn't want to get disadvantage. But she, uh, well, he will stop there, actually. And he will attack the uh, Sun Keeper for... Oh, he has like a area of effect attack, but he can't... They're, they don't stand together anyway. That's good. Oh, that's good that I didn't put her here then. I didn't think about that. Uh, <laughs> so he'll attack her for four. So let's see what they pull out here. And that's a zero, so that's four damage. And she's really hurt actually. And she will get hit again. So number five goes one, two, three, four. 
he will hit the uh, Berserker for four, was it? Yeah, four. Minus one at least. So that's three. Two, three. And then finally, this guy will go one, two, three. He will hit her for four. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, thanks for that. That was good. Okay. So that was the Spitting Drakes. And now it's only the Frost Demon left. But they have 78, and so does the uh, um, Suit Singer. So she goes first. So that's, I'm, I'm the player. So <clears throat> let's see. She will. She will activate this one, which means she can have two songs active later on. It's another tip, by the way. Use one of these. And put a card in when you have an active card. <laughs> it, it doesn't work when I hold it, but like that. Uh, really nice. <coughs> okay. Oh, my voice is already taking a beating. I don't know why. Okay. Then she will do her uh, attack of one with a range of four, and she will wound. Wow, that is stupid. They're already wounded. Why did I set that up? Uh, <laughs> as I said, I'm not planning this perfectly in any way. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I will skip it then. I mean, at attack of one is pretty much nothing. She does have some plus four in, in there though. She'll move instead. No, 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 no. When she ha she has the master, she I done her solo quest. So she has the master loot, which means that when she does place a song, she gets to move two, two steps or attack for two. So she gets to move two steps, so she'll move up here, which means she has four in four, she can hit the uh, spitting drake. So she's hitting him for one plus wound, it's basically the wound that I'm looking for. And that's one, yeah. Does he have armor? No, he doesn't. So number five takes one hit. But the most important thing is that he is wounded. There we go. Like that. And... Um, yeah, so that was her turn. Um, she does have the Ring of Haste as well. She could do a bottom action here if I want to. Um, she wants to save that one, I think. A bit. Uh, oh, this is nice. But this is not... Yeah, she'll just save it because... Because of the bears retaliate. I don't want to keep hitting them this round. I just... It's stupid. Okay. So that was it for for those, and now we have the frost demons. They will move minus one. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did. Okay, maybe I did it wrong. Maybe they should. Oh, did I look at the wrong card? Yeah, I probably did. Maybe the spitting drake should have minus one when they did the attack. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just give these two one more health then, because I was looking at the Frost Demons when I was doing the Spitting Drakes. Wow, it's hard to do this and, and uh, talk at the same time and film and all that. Wow, I haven't been uh, filming anything in, in like uh, three weeks, so <laughs> I'm really out of the loop. Okay, so Frost Demon will move uh, two and three. So he'll move three, one, two, three, he will move two. They can't hit anything. So that was the round. Now what I usually do is I just start shuffling stuff. So I'll shuffle these that needs to be shuffled at the end of the round. Um, and the weird thing is no matter how much I shuffle I usually tend to get the same stuff uh, anyway. Like always get the misses for some reason. <laughs> now normally the uh, what's it called the frost in the air would drop but it doesn't do that in this scenario because it's we're in the blizzard so a special rule here for this scenario and we shuffle this up and yeah oh it's marker uh, it doesn't matter for this scenario okay so that was it and now we go to the second round and now I will start using potions this is what I usually do she only has one core there so no stamina potion for her but like the berserker already used three cards she will play a major stamina potion. I have both the major and the minor, which is really awesome. You can have two of them because they're not the same item. So she will play that. I'm planning for that. And the Sun Keeper will play her minor stamina potion because she has two cards in the discord. It's just good to just get them out the right away from the discord. So, um, 
Oh, what a suit singer doing now? Well, she needs to start a song, basically. That's her thing. And I think what she will start... Oh, what's going on here? Because uh, I do get hit a bit, so she will start the healing song. This is really nice as well, level 8 skill, which lets everybody heal 2 at the start of their turn. So good. And then for her bottom action, I think maybe she should... Uh, yeah, let's curse and bless at the same time. That's just so good. So that's her action. She will go first, basically, because she's a 10. Then the Berserker. Uh, I think she's... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she will do this. And she will do. Hmm. Oh, this is fun. She can do this one, which is like. Uh, she's shooting at a, a flying enemy, then he can't fly anymore. Which means he will drop down and he will take 6 damage. Uh, like he was in a trap. Oh, that's nice. She should do that. Uh, that's just so fun. Okay, so let's say she does that, and then she also hits someone. Mm, well, she could do the... This one is pretty nice. Attack 4, 2 damage. If she suffers 2 damage... No, no, this one. She gets uh, 2 extra damage and an XP. So she doesn't need any XP, but anyway. There we go. And the Sunkeeper... Uh, there's a lot of enemies coming now. Uh, where's her? She has one here. Target all adjacent enemies. Oh, she wants more people gathered before she does that, I guess. I think she will heal. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she will heal. With the bottom action there. And on the top she will do an attack of 5. That's pretty good. There we go. Now I'll check what the enemies are doing. Uh, the cave bears are pretty late. Spitting Drake is just attacking. Oh, they have stun. Oh, that's not good. Frost Demon and the Cultist. Oh, the Cultist is going to summon Living Bones. Oh no. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Uh, then we have even more enemies to handle. But uh, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. So I guess let's start the round and uh, well uh, first up is the uh, Suit Singer. So she's putting out her song here which is that everybody can heal for two at the start of the round which is awesome and she also gets an XP but she's already at level 9 but that's an awesome, th that's why she got to level 9 basically because she used that a lot. Okay and when she plays the song uh, because of her special item, she can move too. So I think she will move. Um, let's see, one, two. Oh, that's still too far away. She'll just move up here. Then she plays her bottom action here is curse everyone within range three. That's three guys. So we put in three curses for the enemy. That's really nice. Put those curses in their deck. And then she will also bless uh, the uh, allies, so we'll put in blesses in both their, de their decks, so. It's a bit fiddly to play with the suit seeker because <laughs> she is so, uh, there's, no, not in this deck. There's so much, to, uh, it's a lot of upkeep, a lot of shuffling, and because the curses and blesses and all that, but it's good. So uh, I think I can live with the, <laughs> with the constant shuffling. So uh, here we go, okay. So that was her turn, and now who is next? Um, 37 looks like, I think it's the Berserker, which is nice. She will do her super attack basically. And the nice thing is that she can get the card back even if after it's lost because of the uh, Sunkeeper's ability. So that's what I usually do with those two. So what she'll do is she will, well first of all, She'll use her major stamina pot to pick up the three cards that she used in the first round. Then which, let's see, okay. Uh, no, no, she's not going to do the super action. No, 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 she's going to shoot down the, yeah, yeah. Okay, so attack of three, range four. 
he's hitting dragon number three or drake so that's an attack of three plus two and that's rolling so two and two more so that's four that's seven she puts out fire so that's seven and where is he number three okay so he'll go down to two life but now, since he can't fly anymore, he's dropping down on the rock, which means he's killed. <laughs> he gets six damage from that. So I'll just remove the die. That's <laughs> so awesome. Uh, she just brings them down. They can't fly anymore. Okay, so he's killed. And now for her uh, upper attack, she will attack of four, but she will take two damage to make it into a attack of 6 and she will get an XP but we don't care about that since she's level 9 so uh, an attack of 6 on the uh, I think she'll go for the normal bear now no she'll go for the elite okay so that's 6 attack on the elite bear and that's a stun thanks for that and plus 1 and disarm uh, that's not matter because he's stunned anyway but that's 7 Eight, nine. Okay, almost killed him. Well, you know what? He has ten health, right? <laughs> so he will go down to one. And now, as soon as it's his turn, he will bleed out with the wound. So he will, <laughs> will be dead. He's stunned as well, but it doesn't matter because he will never get to act anyway. Okay, so that was a good result. And now I'm thinking maybe she should... Hmm... Because those spitting drakes have stun, I would really like her to kill another one if possible. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. So she will use her, she will use her ring of haste again uh, because of the the talisman there, which means she can do the bottom action of one card, and she will use this one. Is that she can suffer up to five damage. Which she will do, so she goes down to 8 health. And then she, the attack will be 3 plus whatever she suffered, which was, so it will be 8. And that's a range of 3, so she's shooting, she is shooting number 5 for 8, 9. Okay, so he's, he's gone. Uh, I'm so afraid when I do the strong attacks that I'm going to draw the, uh, the miss card. <laughs> But I'm feeling lucky so far. Okay, so he's gone. That was good. Uh, that was really good. And that means that the suit singer's mission fails because he was supposed to be the first one to kill someone. I don't care about that. Uh, that's, that's hard for her to do. Okay, and that was her turn. Now we go to number... Oh, it's actually me again. That's nice. We have the... And we forgot something. We forgot something. So we should forget stuff. At the start of the Berserker's turn, she gets to heal too, because of the Suit Singer song. It's, it's in the background, a really nice song, obviously, since it makes people heal themselves. So now the Sunkeeper will get to heal too as well. Just an awesome, uh, awesome ability there. Uh, she will do her minus stamina pot to pick up the two cards she played earlier. And now let's see what she will do. Okay, so... Does she really want to heal though? Because, hmm, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the heal, I guess. So she'll heal for three. Sadly, we don't have any uh, sun. Oh no, 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 no. She will burn something. She will burn the frost, and that means that she will put up the sun instead. Uh, and the heal will be one better. So she heals for four and she's healing the Berserker for four. She's up to 14. And then she will do an attack. And now sadly she can't use the sun right away. That's the rule. You can't make it and use it in the same uh, turn. But she will do an attack of five because of the boost there. So five on... Oh, wait, wait, wait. She doesn't need to hit him for five. He's going to auto be auto-killed because he's wounded, right? Uh, then maybe she... Yeah, she shouldn't have healed. She should have moved and then hit the other bear. It doesn't matter, really, to be honest. Okay, yeah, let, let's, let's have her hit for five. Plus one, that's six. 
the bear is dead and she made her uh, battle goal of uh, killing an elite monster. So we have that out of the way. So he's dead, all these tokens go away. He was stunned, muddled and wounded at the same time. So he had a rough day, this elite bear here. And he's gone now. We don't really miss him. Uh, and then we have 58, Frost Demon. Okay, Frost Demon time. They will move, but the Elite will move three. One, two, three. He will hit. Oh, now he's doing a ranged attack, by the way, so he'll stay over here then. Um, he will hit the Sunkeeper for four. But because there's uh, frost in the air. Uh, no, 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 I wasted the frost earlier, so there's no frost in the air. I, I, I removed that. Okay, so she's hitting her for four. And that's minus one, so that's three to her. Down to eleven. And then the other guy, he can only move two though. He's not really reaching anything here. Then we have the cave bear, the guy that's still here, and he has to target two, that kinda sucks. He'll hit both of them. So he will attack with uh let's see he's bleeding first of all, so we go down to 10 in health, there we go, and he's muddled, and he will attack for 3, so 3 on the suit singer, with disadvantage, because he's muddled, so that's 3, oh there's the mist, there's the curse, nice, so nothing happens, and then 3 on the berserker, and there's a normal mist as well, and he's, yeah, he'll drop 2, so yeah, he missed both of them, that was perfect. So that was the cave bear, and now we go for the cultist, which is annoying because they t now I need more table space. Uh, so they will summon living bones. So let's just try to fit these guys in here. And they have this one for them because there can be a lot of living bones out there. So, um, let's just do it like this or something. Uh, table space is an issue here with the camera and everything. But okay, so they summon normal living bones. And that means, and then they also take two damage. So we have two living bones coming in, uh, one over here, one over there, and then they take two damage. So they go down to eight and thirteen, like that. And the living bones are number four and number seven. They have seven health each. I'll just put these in then for seven. What was it? Number seven and number four. There we go. Um, and they will not act this turn. They don't act on the turn that they are summoned or the round. Um, so that was Cultist. And then finally we have the Spitting Drake. There's only one of them left. Oh, by the way, I should have saved the Spitting Drakes for the Suit Singer, right? I forgot about it. The Berserker killed them. Uh, Oh well, never mind. Uh, I could try to get, save the last one for her. Okay, but well he will attack minus two with stun. So he will attack at two on the Sun Keeper, and that's minus one. No, plus one, so that's three. So she's down to eight, and she's stunned. That really sucks. I hate when they get stunned. Doesn't happen that often to the characters, but uh, so the only thing she can do, I think, is to long rest. Which, I guess, no, I'm not going to do that, it's way too early, she's just going to stand there next round. Okay, so that was it for everybody, uh, this one needs to be reshuffled. And the at the end of the round, these will drop a bit. Actually, this one will drop totally, and this one will be go all the way up because of the special scenario. Um, so that was it for them, and we need to shuffle this deck. There's a lot of shuffling in this game. It's not muddled, by the way, anymore. And a lot of small things to keep track of, sort of, but when you sit here and play, I mean, you play solo, you sort of get into it, so... I guess I do... I make some mistakes, of course, <laughs> and so on, but I think, like, I mean, if I make... 50% mistakes that benefits me and 50% that benefits the enemy, then we're all okay. So that was it. We have a new round. Let's see what everybody will do. I think the 
Um, I don't need to put out this potion beforehand like I, like, like I did. Uh, it's just that I like to do it so I don't forget it. So I'll put the potion here because she's going to pick up her card. So. And now she can play another song and I think that song, yeah, this will be this one where she will curse someone every turn, first thing she does. Uh, and for her bottom action, um, yeah, okay, let's have her for the bottom action have two allies do an attack of four. That's awesome. That's a level nine card. Uh, so there we go, and I'll, I'll put her on uh, sort of late because I want to make the, sure the other guys are in position before that happens. So he, let's see, the... Actually that kind of sucks because the Sunkeeper is stunned. So she can't, oh, that's not a good time to use that one though. Let's have her do an attack of her own then. Four and po Oh, she has push three! She could actually push the bear into the trap. That's awesome. Okay, so let's have her go fast then instead. And the Berserker, what is she doing? Um, hmm. Does she have any push? I think she does. Oh yeah, she has a push of one. So she could push the frost demon into the trap. That is awesome. Okay, let's do that. And then let's also... When she's over there, I think she will also do this one, attack of three to the adjacent enemies. Yeah, that will work out nicely. Okay. So that was her, and now we have the Sun Keeper, and she will not do anything, I guess. So I guess she will do a long rest. Because otherwise I have to play two cards and she will just stand there. That's, that's kind of wasteful. So she'll do a long rest, at least she will heal. She will actually get her boots back as well, that's not bad. Just put them like this when I long rest. So that's that's not bad at all. Okay, that was it. Let's see what the enemy will do during this next round. So we have uh, 80 for the cave bear. Okay, that's good. Uh, 6 for the spitting rake. Oh, it's gonna... Oh, he's just gonna shield and stuff. Oh, I don't care. I can just let him be. Uh, Frost demon, 78. And we have the cults on 10. So they are really fast. So first of all, the Spitting Rake will shield and heal and strengthen himself. Um, but he's not even wounded, so basically all he gets is some shields and a strength. And then, uh, I'm not going to attack him this Well, I do. I am going to attack him. Well, yeah, okay. And then we have the Cultist at 10. So they move minus 1, so they move 2. So 1, 2. And 1, 2. And they have nothing to attack, of course, because they're too far away. And then we have at 13, we have the uh, Suit Singer. And now um, she would normally get an XP because her song is, her song is being <laughs> sang <laughs> or played on her lute. Uh, but uh, she's already level 9, so we don't care about that. But we activate another song, which now means that she will curse everyone at the start of a turn. And when doing that, she gets to do either a uh, two move or two attack. She'll do a two attack on the bear, and that's plus one, so that's three for the bear, and he's down to seven. And then for her uh, main attack, so she will do the this attack of four, uh, range four, but she will actually do it on the bear. She will get disadvantage because she's next to him, but I don't care because I'm just looking for the push, so that's four. Uh, zero or curse and miss. So that's a miss and curse. That's actually perfect because she will curse him. She will miss the attack, but she will curse him anyway. And now, because of that push three, he will be pushed into the trap, which means that he is dead. Uh, because he will take. S no, he's not dead. No, he's not dead. He will take six damage. So he actually has one health left, but since he's wounded, he's going to be dead on his turn. So that's perfect. Okay. And the trap is gone, and now, let's see, got that curse in there. And that was her action. And let's see, we do have one, two. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that was her action, and we're done doing that. Uh, well, she'll actually play a stamina pot to pick up the two cards that she played earlier. And now, let's see, numbers, numbers, 20. Four, so it's time for the Berserker. She will heal two. Start of her turn because of the nice tunes in the background. 
and then she will do a move three, push one. So she'll move over here, which also, which also means that she will pick up this coin. And you, now you might be asking, well, how could she move onto the cliff here? Well, the thing is, she has boots of levitation, so she's flying all the time. She's flying around, <laughs> which is so awesome. And the same goes for the suit singer. I have two of those. The best item in the game, I think. So far, uh, I've seen game flying. That's just so awesome. So you can fly up there. She can do the push. This guy goes into the trap. And when he does that, he'll take six damage from number three. So he's down to four in life. Then she'll do attack three. So she hits everything next to her. And that is the elite guy there. So that's three on him. Plus two and fire. So that's five. Uh, does he have some shields? Um, no, but he has to retaliate. Okay, so five, so he goes down to 13, and he will retaliate for three. Okay, she goes down to 13 as well. Then she will hit the Drake for three, uh, and that's the mess there. That's a curse. Okay, but I think I got the curses out of her deck now, which is nice. She has started with three. Okay, so that was her action, and now we go for, what is it? It's the Frost Demons. So they will move and attack. Let's see, he can move three. He will just attack, basically. They attack for four on her. And that's plus one, so that's five. That's pretty... Ooh, that's not good, she's down to three health. Uh, um, I am going to heal her fully next turn, but I hope she survives until then because now he, he this guy comes here as well And he's attacking for four And that's five. Okay, so I need to get rid of a card. Wow. That was early for that um, hmm. I don't want her heals though, of course Mm, I'll do, I'll get rid of this one, I think, yeah. Okay. So now, uh, let's see. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, so that was the Frost Demons, and now we have the Cave Bear. And he will actually, he will die because he's wounded and he only has one health. He will die when it's his turn. So we get rid of him. That's nice to get rid of the cave bears. They're pretty nasty in, in attack. Uh, especially the elite guys and so on. Uh, and the elite guys wound. I don't think I've been hit by them. Maybe I missed it, but <laughs> I should have. Normally they do make a wound there. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess that was it. We will do... have to reshuffle this. Oh, no, 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 I forgot about the living bones. Wow. I totally forgot about them. Because they were summoned the last round, so they, yeah, they should have acted now. Uh, uh, mistakes happen, especially when you do record stuff. For some reason, it's obviously easier to make mistakes. Or maybe you just notice them, I don't know. Okay, so they will move for uh, three, they will attack for for three. So that's easy enough. He'll go one, two, three. And he'll go one, two, and he can do an attack for three onto the Sun Keeper. That's minus one, so that's two. So, okay, so she's still around at least. Uh, and now, before the end of the round, she will do a long rest, which means she gets two health. Um, she gets rid of her stun. And she has to get rid of one of these cards, which is not that exciting, because I like both of them. Uh, so I'll get rid of that, because I want to have her ability to target everyone. She also pops a major healing pot, so that's five more health. Um, like that. And she gets her boots back as well, so the boots are active now, that's good. Okay, so that was it for the round. This stuff drops down, except for the fire drops down totally, and the frost is strong. Uh, that's how it goes. Oh, he lost his uh, advantage, but no, no, he did strength on himself this round. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we have a new round. Um, 
Now there's a bunch of enemies in a big... And now I want some AoE here, if I can get that. Well, I could curse a lot of people, though. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, I'll do this. This is really fun. Um, so what I'll do is I'll... Uh, yeah. I'll move... She's going to... Okay, she's going to move, and then she's going to move with a jump, and everyone that she jumps through will have will start attacking each other because <laughs> that's a really fun card. Okay, and um, I see she would like to hit everyone, of course, and maybe do another one with some extra attack there, I guess. Uh, one, two, three. No, now she's going to do this, so she's going to hit attack. This is going to be crazy. She's going to. Do her special super attack. And then we have the Sunkeeper. No, 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 I'm, I'm looking at the wrong guy. No, 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 I get these confused sometimes. She's over here. So... Hmm, well, yeah, it's not, it's not a bad shout anyway. Okay, yeah, yeah. So the Sun Keeper will attack everyone adjacent. There's four of them now. And then I will guess, I guess she will. She has to heal. Yeah, she'll do the big heal for five. Because she's getting kind of low here on, on health. So we have the enemies, the Living Bones. They will do a 20. And 27 for the Drake. And 58 for the Frost Demons, and 31 for the Cultist. Okay. So first up is the uh, Berserker. She'll get 2 health because of the songs being played. The background music. And she'll do a move to attack for 3. So she'll go up here and attack for 3 on the Elite there. So that's 3, wound, and wound. And miss, okay, but he, he does get wo wounded though. And now I have to have gotten all those curses out, I think. So uh, the frost demon is wounded, the elite one. And now she'll do her super attack, which is she can lose up to four health, which she will do. And then she will do a major healing pot right away, so she'll get five health back. Uh, and what she does here is she gets an attack, range three, Target all enemies. This is just so crazy. Targets everyone within range three. Uh, <laughs> I would like to increase the range on this, but you can't. You can only increase the attack. Uh, so that's uh, four attack on everyone except for the cultist in the back there. Everyone else is going to be attacked. And that's lost, but she can pick it up by the help of the sunkeeper later and do it twice. That's awesome. Okay, and she'll actually do a minus stamina pot here as well. Just pick up two cards. And it can't be this one, of course, because this was discarded in this round. So she'll pick up the heal, actually, because she wants to have that big heal. She has one heal that is just heal full health instantly, which is awesome. Okay, so well, this is going to take a while. So we have four hits on the elite there. And this is actually ranged, so she gets disadvantage. But Four, four attack on on the elite frost demon, and there we have another wound. It doesn't need that, but oh, the times two, but she's disadvantaged, so so that's five anyway. So five on him. Oh, he she, he should actually have retaliated earlier as well, so she should go down three and another three in health. Okay. Um, so five on him, and he goes down to uh, eight that and then she hits the drake for four plus one that's five and he doesn't have anything special so he goes down to four uh five on skeleton number four and oh four so four six and there's the, there's the blessed so that's 12 damage to the skeleton number four i think he's pretty done for you <laughs> uh he doesn't drop any loot though because he was summoned um and then it's four on the other skeleton. 
plus one, so that's five. He has a shield, right? Yeah, so that's four, so he's down to three. And then she attacks the cultist elite for four, and that's plus one, so that's five. And he just goes down to eight. He doesn't have anything special about that. Yeah, so that was her whole attack. Really nice. She just softened everybody up, basically. Um, yeah, and then we go to, what is it? Uh, well, we have 20 on the living bones. So he will move. He will actually heal himself. That's not good. He will move over here. He will attack for 3. Minus 1. So that's 2 to her. Um... Uh, and then he will heal himself for two, so he's up to five again. Okay, and then we have 27, but we have 27 here and here. So we check the second card, and that's 51 there, and it's 52 over here. So we have the Sun Keeper is going next, and she gets to heal twice, of course, because of the song. Like that. Easy to forget stuff like that, but you gotta keep track of it. <laughs> The game is hard as it is. So um, let's see what she will do. Okay, she will do the attack for target all adjacent enemies. That's awesome. Gain okay, one for each, one XP for each enemy target. That she will put up the sun there as well. So that's uh, four XP to her. So she's up to five in XP, and then she's attacking for four on everyone. So four on the elite frost guy. Plus one, and rolling, so we have six. Uh, and he will retaliate. He's down to two health though. But he will retaliate for three. That's kind of nasty. Um, and then she attacks for four on the other frost demon. Plus one rolling, so that's five. And okay, so five on him, and he's actually dead. That's good, so there's no retaliate then. I was worried she would take another retaliate because that could have been hard for her. So he's dead, and then we have attack of four on the skeleton, and there's the miss, and four on the drake, and that's minus two, so that's two on the drake then, okay. Yeah, so they're, yeah, it's going well, I guess. Hmm. Okay, now she'll do this one, the heal five. And uh, she'll heal herself for five, I think. Yeah. So she's up to ten. And that was her turn. And now we go to the suit singer. And at the beginning of her turn, she gets to curse someone within range five. So she can do that. So we add a curse card to the attack modifier deck for the enemy. And then she will do her... Um, Oh, now things changed a bit. They did change a bit. But she wants to kill the Spitting Drake. So, she can't really get there. Um, ah, that wasn't good. Okay, could she... But she could get there because she's flying as well so she can be up there she could get there and just do normal attack on him i think she would do that just because she, i really want her to get the spitting drake so she'll do move four with that card up here she's flying so and then she'll attack him for two it's a normal two and that's oh two times nice so that's enough he's dead and she has scored another here for her uh, life goal, which is awesome. Okay, and so that was her turn. And now we do the sp oh, the spitting drake is dead, so that's good. So that was a twenty-seven. Now we go to thirty-one cultists. So they will move minus one, and they will heal. Um, I guess they will heal themselves basically first of all I think they prioritize that but they will move sort of like they were going to do an attack so he'll move there and he'll heal himself for three so he goes up to eleven and the other guy 
Um, let's see, the other guy will go, uh, what is it, 2. Uh, he'll heal himself up to 11, no, to 10. He has a maximum health of 10. So that was them acting, and then finally we have the Frost Demon, the, the guy there. He's going to take 1 damage because he's wounded, so he only has 1 left. Uh, and he's going to attack, and he's going to attack whoever act first, and that was... Uh, that was the Berserker, so he'll attack her for, let's see, uh, what is it, it's 4, plus 0, okay, so 4 attack coming on the Berserker, and it's minus 1, so that's 3, that's, that's okay, she can handle that, she has 7 health left, and she doesn't really mind that, uh, yeah. Okay, so that was the round. Uh, the living bones will be shuffled. Um, the sun over here will drop down. And let's see, what else is there? Uh, this needs to be shuffled. There's a lot of shuffling in this game, but if you sleeve it, it goes pretty fast and easy, so it's not a big, big problem. There we go, and we need to shuffle for the uh, suit singer as well. I think we need to shuffle for the sun keeper also. Actually, to check it. But what I usually do is I like, yeah, I do like this. So I turn the card so that I will see it. I will remember to shuffle. But I do forget it sometimes, so I'm usually checking just to make sure. I don't wanna, I don't wanna like mess it up. Ah, it's no big deal, uh, but anyhow, so we are ready for a new round, and uh, let's see what we will be doing. Um, the Suit Singer will do this one for sure now, because you can curse uh, four guys. <laughs> so you get four curses in, and she can bless the other two. And then I think she'll do this, so she can curse them even more. <laughs> so she's just massively cursing this round. Uh, then we have the Berserker, and uh, let's see, she wants to attack, oh, she can push, so she could push the, well, we don't need to worry about the Frost Demon, because he's going to die of the wound as soon as it's his turn, but she could push the uh, Cultist into the trap, that's cool, and then be after she's done that, she can hit the other Cultist, for uh, three and a four and a stun. That's not bad. Okay. Then we have the Sun Keeper and uh, okay, so the Elite. She so could hit the Elite if she acts faster than the Berserker. Can she do that? Hmm. Well, she can. Ooh, let's have her do this. So she'll do this one. Hmm. Ah, I don't know. Hmm, yeah, let's let's do, let's do this one. So she'll uh, use the bottom here to attack, and then she used the top here to give all the allies uh, adds plus one attack to all their attacks this round. So that's good. So that's it for uh, the characters. We go for the living bones. We we'll act at twenty. The Frost Demon will go at 18, and the Cultist will go at 39, okay. So, uh, where do we start? Um, well, 11 is the lowest, so Sunkeeper healing because of the tune, and she's putting out this, where so everybody will get, she'll get some XP for that. The other guys will get plus one on their attacks, and then she does an attack of her own. Rain 3, she's hitting the um, cultist in the back, so she doesn't get the disadvantage. And that's the bless. So that's an attack of uh, 4 of them. And uh, here he is. So he goes down to 6 health. And she, he also gets muddled, which is nice. Uh, now, what I do in some scenarios is that I play a song on the Suit Singer that gives all the enemies disadvantage at all times, which is also awesome, but it's either that or going for the curse basically 
Because if I want to curse them, I don't want to give them a disadvantage because then they will draw two misses and that's just a waste. So uh, I'm using the curses this time around instead. Okay. And that was the Sun Keeper, and now we go to the, um, the Soul Singer. And so she's going to curse someone just by, you know, the song she's playing. So one curse goes in there. And then, oh, this is crazy. Then she plays this one, which will curse uh, three. I added that to the square there, but it will, it will curse three because of how they stand. So that's three more curses. I'm going to run out of curses now. Uh, so that's three, and then she will do the bottom action here, which is four curses basically. But now we have all the ten in their deck, so but she will also bless the other guys, which is nice. So they get a bless, and uh, I mean, her cards are just so awesome. Uh, I mean, I, I had scenarios where the enemy couldn't really hit anything because he would just <laughs> curse and miss, miss, miss all the time. Uh, so she can keep it up as well because of her song. So every, you know, at the start of her turn, she curses someone. Uh, as long as they're they are in, within the reach five, or range five, and I mean they would draw every round, and they would, she would curse them again. And once in a while, she just curses a bunch of them, like the AOE AOE right that I did right now. So she can almost keep the ten curses in the deck all the time, which is just crazy. Okay, so that was her turn, and, um, hmm, yeah, okay, so it's time for the, what is it, 20, oh, it's 18, it's Frost Demons, or Frost Demon, it's only one of them, oh, this is kind of nasty, he will immobilize everyone here, and he will heal himself for, no, 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 before he does anything, he will, he's wounded, he will die instantly, <laughs> he only has one health, so that happens at the start of his turn, so, that is good because otherwise he would have started healing himself and all that stuff, which would have really sucked. Okay, so he's gone. And we get a coin there. And now it's time for number 20, which is Living Bones. He will move, attack, and heal himself. Okay. So he'll attack the Sunkeeper for what is it? It's three uh, plus zero. So that's three to her. I'm almost surprised that he didn't pull out a curse. Uh, and then um, he will heal himself, so he'll go up to 7 again. Okay, and then we have 24. Well, the last, well, almost last to act here is the Berserker, and she will start off with a heal of 2, of course. And we need to shuffle this because she got blessed. And let's see, she will do. Oh, yeah, 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 she's going to push and stuff. Um, so that's happening. Okay. So she will move three and push one. And uh, she is flying because of the boots of levitation. So she just fly over here, one, two, three. And she'll push the. Let's see. Yeah, she'll push the normal cultist in here, because he dies then, that's 6 damage. Uh, so why not? Just get rid of him. Uh, I just I always try to tend to do that, to just try to get rid of the, as many enemies like, as I can. Um, the small guy, sort of. Because now she can also do an attack of 4, and she'll take 2 damage to gain stun. Uh, so she takes the damage, but now she's attacking 4 and stun on the elite cultist. And she gets to heal herself, actually. So 4 and a miss. <laughs> but she still gets to heal herself, and we, we still get the stun in there. Which means that the cultist won't do anything. And that's important, because he was going to start healing himself, and so on. Okay. And he's last to act, and he's stunned, so nothing happens. So that was the round. And this needs to be shuffled again. And we need to shuffle the living bones. Well, it's looking good. Uh, get rid of all the enemies, sort of. I need to head into the third room and see whatever whatever is in there and what I'm supposed to do here. But uh, I also want to pick up the treasure over there before I before I you know uh, finish the mission. If I do that, I don't know how hard it is when I get in there. But anyhow. So we have everything set up, the, the sun goes down over there, the sun power, 
and we we'll start a new round. Well, now the suit singer needs to short or long, uh, long or short rest. Um, hmm, I think she'll short rest. Ah, I think so. I wanna, yeah. I'll just do this and I'll lose the massive curse, but they are already cursed, like, you know, a lot. <laughs> so, I uh, don't worry about that. So she could move. Now the the thing is I want to sort of retire the Sun Keeper as fast as I can because I think she's boring. Uh, so so her goal is to have 200 gold and she has like 150 now. So I want to I want her to take the treasure in case it's gold or if it's like an item that I can sell that she doesn't want anyway. So she's aiming for that. Um, and now I think she, uh, yeah she will do this. This is fun. Okay so. That's the suit singer uh, over there, and I have the, like, the spitting drink there just to remind myself that she finished one of her things for her life goal. Um, she will hit both of them, and uh, she can move as well. Yeah, I think they will be dead here pretty soon. And then we have the sun keeper. She will hit the elite guy pretty hard. Then I think she will perhaps. Hmm, I think she will just move because she, I burnt a lot of her cards. So I gotta save up on some cards here for her so she doesn't run out of cards too soon. Um, she can also use her boots to move as well. So that was it. Let's see what the Living Bones will do. They go at 45 move attack, and Cultists go at 27 move attack. Okay, so nothing special this round at least. Um, so we'll start off with number 11, which is the Berserker, so she will heal two. And she will hit everyone next to her. And this one is awesome as well, because if they fire in the air, and then she hits everyone with two hexes away. So that's just oh, so good. Okay, so three on the elite guy. So plus one, so that's four. And he goes down to seven. There we go, and then three on the skeleton, and he's wounded, and plus two, so that's, oh there's the fire, uh, so that's five, but he has a shield, so he'll take four, so he goes down to three and he's wounded, okay, it's kind of weird that the, the skeleton can be wounded, but that's how it works, um, and then she, I think she will just do a move three action, uh, just move out of here. Uh, one, two, three, because they can come after it. Doesn't I mean they're almost dead. Uh, then we have fourteen is the uh, suit singer, and she will curse, but there's no curses left, so she can't do her curse. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Uh, but what she will do is this. This is really fun. She will do. Uh, yeah. So first of all, she will do this: move four and jump, and the ones that she jumps through. She will go like one, two, three, four, and now they will attack each other uh, because he jumped through them. That's a really fun system. So uh, let's just have the um, elite guy go first. That's how it usually works. So the, the cultist will attack the skeleton for uh, what is it? It's an attack of three. Okay, yeah. So three minus one. So two, two, but he has an armor, so it's one. And then the skeleton will attack him back for three. Oh, why do I draw minus ones now? So <laughs> minus one, that's two, so he goes down to five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then she'll do this one, which means that we, she will curse again, but there's no curses left, so she will just bless the other two guys. I think it's good to get some blesses going here before the final room. There could be some nasty things in there. Uh, well, of course it is, I guess. So that was the suit singer, and now we go to what is it? We'll go to the uh, sun keeper on twenty three, and she will of course heal too at the start of her turn. I really like to have that song playing, and then uh, let's see if she can finish the. Mm. Yeah, let's have her uh, attack for four uh, on the elite guy. Here we go, four, oh, plus zero, okay, but four still means he, he's down to one health. Oh, that's annoying. And then she, if she had used this one, attack five, he would have been dead, but 
Now she can move five instead, that's what I'm looking for. And together with her boots, that means she can move. Uh, well, she doesn't have jump and stuff. Oh, why is she on the rock? Oh, I did wrong earlier. Oh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She almost gets to the treasure in this round. Okay, so that was her action. Now we go to the cultist. And he will just attack, which is annoying since he has one life. He will curse uh, the suit singer. <laughs> okay, so he will attack her for uh, three and a curse. Oh, six and a curse? That's not good. Wow, okay. Well, she's down to five. But actually, I think the curse is even worse. I hate having those in the deck, but she'll get it. And then... It's the skeleton, and he will move, and he will hit her for, what is it, three? Oh, he's actually wounded, so he's down to one health. He's going to auto-die next time. Uh, so that's plus zero, so that's a three on her. She's down to two health. But it's not a big problem, because she still has her major healing pot. She hasn't used that yet. And if it really gets bad, she has a cloak of invisibility, so... <laughs> Really good items these guys have now. Okay, so that was the round. Uh, the fire goes down over here. And yeah, that's it. We just uh, start a new round. So, Suit Singer, I think she will... Well, they don't draw any curses, which means that she can't recurse them, sort of. <laughs> but I think she will move and... Yeah, she will move and attack. She will use this card just as a normal attack. This is nice as well. This is double curses when she has that on out there, but I don't really need that right now. The Burr Circle will have to do short breasts, I guess, so. Um, she loses that one. Ah, okay, it's okay. I mean, you can spend a health to redraw, but it's okay. So she will go over and open that door. One, two, three, four. Yeah, she will go over and open the door. If it's really bad in there, she can always pu pull out her cloak of invisibility. Uh, that's what, how I usually do it. It's really nice. Uh, and I guess she will... You know what? She will have her heal. He, uh, she'll do her heal so she gets up to 26 in health again. So she'll do the move and heal. Yeah. Just to be safe. And then the... This girl here, the Sunkeeper, she will go and take the treasure, basically. Yeah, she'll just do that. Okay. So, we do Living Bones. 45, it's the same thing again. And Cultist will try to summon a Living Bones, but she, uh, he only has one health, so I think I can stop him from that. So, first of all, we have the um, Berserker getting two points healed. And what I usually do in this case, because yeah, the table can't handle the law, so what I usually do is I just pack this up, because I'm not going to go back here anyway, right? There's no no way I'm going to go back here. Well, maybe for, to get some coins, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So I'll just do this. Wiggle this a bit, perhaps. Maybe I can just lift this up instead. There we go. And now I can pull this off. I'll just remove this for now. I'll just pull this back like this somehow without messing it up too much. Something like that. <laughs> and now she moves forward and she opens the room. And I put this marker out just to remind myself that something happens when she does open that uh, door or reveal the room. So I have to read something so I don't forget that. And let's see what it is. So it's on the other uh, side. Here it is. Okay, as quickly as you can, you escape the rising storm of ice to find some semblance of shelter in the cave. With every step, the angry wind bites deeper. There are more enemies in the cave, of course, but you are more concerned about the glowing white orb behind the crickling demons. The pieces all start to fall into place. They are controlling the weather here, blocking your passage to the peak. If you can destroy the orb, your hope to, your hope to punishing weather... Oh, you hope the punishing weather will subside, okay. Okay, so there's an altar in this room. It has 6 plus, let's see, character times level, so that's 12, so it has 18 hit points. And it goes like this, I think. Yeah. 
So it has 18 hit points in here. And it's over there. And what I do then is just I take one of these red dice. That's our special things. And he has 18 hit points. Like that. I can just adjust that as we go. She's over here, by the way. Uh, where is it here? Um, and then we have an elite frost guy and a normal frost guy in here. So that's not too bad. Uh, I don't like them, but it could have been worse. Um, okay. So the frost guys are here. And now she'll do her heal. She'll, she'll use that to heal all the way up to 26. Well, basically, it, it heals everything that she has lost, or like the, the, the same amount between her max health and her current health. That's how much it heals. She can heal other people as well. It's like range 3, range 2. Uh, but anyhow, so that was her action. And now we have the... We have to see what the frost guys will do because we opened the door, right? So they will act on 58, okay. And I just need to smash that, that orb there, the altar thing. So, 27, it's time for the uh, Suit Singer. Still no curses because they haven't drawn any curses yet. Uh, and I think she will just do a normal attack of two on the cultist to try to get rid of him. So that's plus two and a poison, so he's done for. So, no more summoning living bones for you, which is nice. Not have those living bones. Um, they're not that bad. But I just hate when they summon stuff and just keep coming, coming, coming. And you feel like you never get any any progress. <laughs> uh, and then she'll do a more move four. So one, two, three, four. She's heading over to that room to help the berserker out in destroying the altar, while the um, sun keeper will focus on. This looks like I don't know. Anyway. It's just uh, easier to do this, and uh, so he will. She will go for the um, the loot, the treasure. So who is next? We have Living Bones is up next. Oh, the cultist is dead, by the way. I'm getting confused. I'm sitting here for too long. Okay, <laughs> the Living Bones is going to die because he's wounded. He has one health. So there we go. This has happened a lot of times in this scenario where I get them down to one and they are wounded and they just auto kill when they it's their turn. I just love that stuff. There we go, so he's out, let's just do that. And we can just move this down actually, because now we only have one enemy left here. Like that. Just remove these. And now we have... Uh, let's see. So now the frost demons will go. Yeah, and the Sunkeeper will be last out. So... Um, they will do... Actually, could have made sense to just... Pop the cloak of invisibility there, but I didn't, so I'm not gonna cheat. So okay, he will go minus one. He will do a ranged attack, and there's frost in the air, so he will get plus two attack, plus one range. So he will go here. He will attack for six. Oh, that's nasty. So six, and oh, there's the <laughs> there's the curse. Of course, there is. There's like ten. Out of these, it was 10 curse, so <laughs> it's not that surprising, but it still is just so nice when it happens. And so then the other guy will move to, and uh, he will hit for, well, for 6 as well. So the frost goes for both of them, and that's 6, and oh, that's a 0. So 6 damage comes, well, she just healed up to 26, so it's not a big deal, but anyhow. Uh, okay, so that was it for that. Oh, I'm getting tired because I'm talking and playing and so, you know, oh, I need to take a break after I'm finished with this one for sure. Okay, so now we have the Sun Keeper. Now we have the Sun Keeper and she will heal two steps because of that song and let's not forget the song. And she will just move, but she won't do anything else. She'll just move over here and now we get to see what the treasure is. So it's treasure 73. I'll just look it up in the book. The app doesn't have that information. I have to go through the book. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a random item design. Okay, that's kind of cool. What we'll do then is we'll pull out these blue backed items and uh, we'll take one randomly. I have all the items in bags with text on them and all that. Just have to organize this game as much as possible. We'll just take one here randomly 
And we have the Night Blade. Okay. During your melee attack, if you can waste the darkness to add plus two attack to a single attack, it's pretty good. I have a, I had a similar one earlier where it was the green mana instead of the. I don't know. It's not that often that I have the black thing going, uh, so I don't think this is something for me. But I think a, a future character that I get later on uh, might have. Uh, you know, a focus on, on dark magic or something, or, or getting that uh, dark uh, darkness magic up, which means that he, you know, in the future, someone might be really good with that item. So, uh, so that's a thing to look for. And what you do when you get a random item design is, which is what I'm doing now, is you pull out the blue one, which is random, and then you take to find the same number in the red deck so you have both of those and they go to the shop so you don't get the item you just get the ability to buy it basically okay so that was it for the treasure and for the round and we do some shuffling again of course and that's only one one deck this time <laughs> let's remove this it's sort of out of the game right now and so i just need to go over there and smash that altar thing for 8 in damage. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Okay, so... Hmm. Well, it's, sh it's short rest time for the Suit Singer again. I'll just shuffle these up and I'll remove this card. And let's see, she will just... I, I think I will... You know what? I will try to avoid... Ignore those guys in there. Because there's no point in killing them, I don't need to do it for the mission. She will move and then stun them. This is also nice, she has to stun there for like area, area stun. She's just so awesome. And I never want to retire her, but at the same time you want to get the new uh, characters, of course, because it's fun. So, um, hmm. Okay, so Berserk will move up to the uh, altar thing. And then she will do this, so we can finish this quickly. She will do her glass hammer, and this is also awesome. She will attack uh, at the same amount that her hit points is at, which is 20 right now. <laughs> so we'll do 20 damage. Uh, but then she goes down to 1 in health, but it's okay because we're at the end of the mission, right? So I think that will finish the game, uh, the mission here. And so, short rest for the Sunkeeper. She loses that one, I don't really care at this point. Um, and I don't know if she can do anything. Uh, she should go and pick up money, really, if she can. Uh, yeah, she can run down there, hit the skeleton. Maybe she'll be able to pick up some money there as well. Okay, so, 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 we have the uh, frost demons. Oh, the skeleton is still here. What? Did I kill him? I don't think I killed him. I'm so confused. No, 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 I killed him. He killed himself. Yeah, yeah, he killed himself because he was wounded. He was bleeding to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> okay, so Frost Demons. They will move on 78. So. Uh, yeah. Okay. First up is the Berserker. She heals for two. And then she moves for... Four. This is also nice. She can move for seven if I need be. She can sacrifice. Uh, she can take three damage to increase the length of the movement. She uh, she's just so awesome, and she's flying. So she can go one, two, three, four. She just flies over them, and she does the glass hammer attack. It's gone, and she will do twenty two damage. And I don't want to draw the miss now. Ah, 23 damage, that's okay. <laughs> so, the whatever, uh, the, uh, the orb there is smashed in one hit, just like that, and we'll go to the conclusion, so here we go. Ah, pieces of shattered orb fall to the snowy floor along with the corpses of the enemies who stood in your way. These die as well, of course, yeah. Ah, the screeching of the wind outside the cave lessens to a faint murmur. You exit to see clear skies above you and the path to the peak. Scenario 46. So that's where I'm going next. At this altitude, without a cloud in sight, you find yourself looking out over the horizon, marveling at the wondrous expanse of mountains and the forests and plains beyond them. You can even see the faint outline of Gloomhaven in the distance. Looking to the west, your curiosity is piqued by a lake high 
in the mountain and a small stone structure resting at its edge. You make a note of the building, it might be worth investigating in the future. And that's uh, scenario 15, okay. So I get a party achievement across the divide and we get 10 experience each in reward, which means that <laughs> she gets 10 experience, the other guys are already, already level nine. So I should really, you know, retire them and get other characters. So I get all the benefits when I play, but yeah, I'll get there. Uh, it's just a bit sentimental. <laughs> it's hard to retire them. And what I just realized is that Ooh, she could have actually have moved. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much, but she could actually have moved over here. Pick up these. So that's a few coins at least. Because you can you get to do that before sort of the round ends, even if you finish the, the job there. And the same goes for the other one here, but she couldn't have reached anything. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, yeah, she could have moved five. Okay, so she gets a coin there as well. Okay, so that was it for the mission, and I'll set everything up for the next one um, later tonight, I think, uh, without streaming, sadly. I don't think I can handle, my voice can't handle streaming uh, one more time tonight, I think, so <laughs> I'll just play it for myself. But I just wanted to do, sort of let you in here on a little bit of what I'm doing right now and why the reason why the channel is going a bit slow because I'm busy in trying to save Gloomhaven. It's important guys, I have to do it. Um, but I will be back in full strength and full focus here in February. Uh, there will be some videos coming even here in January as well. Um, some unboxings and round shoes and so on. I'll do some I have a lot of new games, so I'm going to do a lot of unboxings coming up here. Might not be that exciting for everybody to see, but that's the first step. And then, of course, as usual, the round truce comes soon or sort of soon afterwards, depending on, of course, uh, I'm going to sort I think I will focus mainly also on, in February, I will try to focus catching up on the, there's still a few games from Essen that I haven't uh, filmed yet. Uh, so I want to do that, like Bunny Kingdom and, and so on. But uh, I'm getting there, we'll just take one thing at a time. <laughs> and Thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that you will be back uh, later on. I will do more streams of Gloomhaven in the future. Uh, I'm not sure when, but pretty soon I guess. I will do some other streams as well when I get around to it. So. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that if you're watching this afterwards, I just hope that you have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. And the same goes to you who will be watching live, of course, because you can be anywhere in the world, which is so awesome. So have a great one and uh, I'll say goodbye from me, Joseph, and uh, Dracula's over there as well. He hasn't said much uh, today, but he's watching. So have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.